My name is Michael Simons and I'm a professional realtor here in Playa Hermosa, Guanacaste, Costa Rica, known as the Papagayo. I've been a full-time permanent resident since 2003 and I'm licensed with Costa Rica Guanacaste Association of Realtors. Nobody works harder for their clients than I do and nobody sells more real estate than I do. I've helped thousands of people purchase an investment property or relocate to our little paradise. I will answer all your emails, I will answer all your questions, and I will be there for you, not just to sell you your property, but after. And most important, I'll become your friend. Hope you join us. One of the most common things that you hear people say is maybe I should go to Costa Rica and I should rent first before I buy to see if I like it. Well, in theory, that sounds like a great idea and I wouldn't discourage you from doing that. But here's the problem that you need to understand might happen. First of all, you're not going to find a beautiful house in your price range that you want to rent. Let me tell you, I know exactly what you want. I want a three bedroom house with a pool looking at the ocean for $1,500 a month. Good luck. Those homes rent for $1,500 a week and they rent a lot. The vacation market right now is booming. We're 20 minutes from an international airport. We have $500 million resorts going up. This is the place everybody wants to be. So people are coming in and renting homes on a weekly or monthly basis. Think about this for a second. If I own a beautiful home, why would I rent it to you for $1,500 a month when I can rent it to him for $1,500 a week and still use it? So you're going to have a very difficult time finding a home that you're accustomed to living in in your price range. So that means two things you're going to have to do. Uh, a, you're going to have to overpay for your rental. So you're gonna end up spending a lot more for your rental than you were planning. Or B, you're gonna to have to lower your standards substantially and rent what we call a Tico home. It's not gonna have a pool. It's not gonna have an ocean view. It might not even have hot water. Truthfully, it's a very simple home. Those are the types of homes that you're probably gonna to have to rent. So you're not gonna get a very good understanding of what it's like to live here if you're living in a neighborhood that you might not normally wanna live in. The other problem that you have is many people want to use their homes maybe even six months a year. A lot of my clients are snowbirds. So you might be able to come down and find a place to rent for three to six months, but then what's going to happen? When all of a sudden the owner comes back and asks you to move out, where are you going to find another place to rent? The other thing that's happening, and I just look at this as an investment thought, you're spending even if you found a place to rent at $1,500 a month, that's $20,000 in a year that you're just throwing away. Real estate in the last year has gone up on average five to 10% here in value. So if you're looking at a $200,000 place, it's already gone up 10 or $20,000 in the last year. You just spent another 10 to $20,000 on rental. I don't know about you, but that doesn't make very good financial sense to me. Come on down, baby.